Today on Rust Belt Airgun, I'm going to review the A4-P Full Auto Air Pistol by Crossman. The A4-P is a sealed two-powered air pistol capable of semi or full auto firing modes. While firing, you can see the bolt jump back through the ejection port simulating cartridge ejection. In full auto mode, this air pistol can achieve a rate of fire of 1400 rounds per minute at a velocity up to 430 FPS. Here is a close-up of the ejection port while firing in full auto mode. The A4-P weighs 5 pounds and 7.8 ounces, or 2 kilograms and 488 grams. The overall length of the A4-P is 21 and a quarter inches, or 53.975 centimeters. The overall height of the A4-P, from the top of the sight to the bottom of the magazine, is 9 and 7 8 inches, or 25.08 centimeters. The Crossman A4-P above is much smaller than other Crossman offerings, such as the AK-1 pictured below. The A4-P is shorter than the AK-1, even with the stock completely folded. Maybe this is why Crossman classifies the A4-P as an air pistol. The magazine holds 25 BBs, 2 CO2 cartridges, and an Allen wrench tool for tightening the piercer. The A4-P is of nylon fiber polymer construction and features a red dot sight that is adjustable for both windage and elevation. This air pistol has quad accessory rails, allowing for the mounting of accessories such as a laser sight. The Crossman A4-P is small enough to fit in a standard backpack or knapsack, allowing you to easily transport it on a camping trip or for a day of fun out in the woods. The A4-P comes in a smart collectible box adorned with the picture of the air pistol. Full auto is emblazoned in the lower left hand corner. The back of the box features the specifications of the A4-P and safety warnings. The inside of the box is rather spartan. It looks like it is made out of recycled cardboard. I recommend holding on to the box as it provides an efficient means for storing the A4-P. I wish that the box had clearance so that the A4-P could be stored with a red dot sight installed. The A4-P safety is located on the left hand side above the grip. Rotate the safety selector fully counterclockwise to engage the safety. Rotate the safety selector clockwise until it points up for semi-fire mode. Rotate the safety selector fully clockwise for full auto fire mode. Engage the safety. Push the magazine release button and remove the magazine. Remove the magazine cover. and remove the provided Allen wrench from the magazine. Put a drop of Pelgan oil on the tip of each CO2 cartridge. Insert the CO2 cartridges tip up into the magazine.
use the provided Allen wrench to tighten the piercing screw on the side labeled first until you hear the hiss of CO2 entering the magazine. Tighten the piercing screw for the second CO2 cartridge until you hear the hiss of CO2 entering the magazine. Replace the Allen wrench in the magazine. Install the magazine cover. Insert the magazine into the air pistol. And disengage the safety when ready to fire. Engage the safety. Push the magazine release button and remove the magazine. Pull down the BB follower and lock in place. Insert up to 25 BBs into the BB loading hole. Slowly release the BB follower. Insert the magazine into the air pistol. Disengage the safety when ready to fire. Two Allen wrenches are provided with the A4-P. The black anodized one is used to mount the red dot sight to the air pistol. The chrome one is used for windage and elevation adjustment. You attach the red dot sight to the A4-P's top accessory rail using a single Allen screw. The provided CR2032 3 volt lithium battery must be installed in the battery tray for the red dot sight to function. In order to open the red dot sight's battery tray, slide the button towards the back of the air pistol, then pull the battery tray out. Install the provided battery into the battery tray with the positive or plus sign facing upward, then slide the battery tray back into the red dot sight. You must power on the red dot sight for it to work. The switch on the red dot sight has three positions, off, low brightness, and high brightness. When the red dot sight is powered on, you will see a bright red dot centered in the semi-reflective lens. The elevation adjustment is located on the top of the red dot sight. Turn the elevation Allen screw counterclockwise to raise the point of impact. Turn the elevation screw clockwise to lower the point of impact. The windage adjustment is located on the side of the red dot sight. Turn the windage Allen screw counterclockwise to move the point of impact to the left. Turn the windage screw clockwise to move the point of impact to the right. Make sure you turn off the red dot sight when not in use, otherwise you will quickly use up the provided battery. Unlike firearms that create discharge residue during operation, air guns are very clean and require very little maintenance. Keep the external surfaces of the A4-P air pistol clean. After 3,000 shots, the following maintenance steps are recommended by Crossman. Press the magazine release button. Remove the magazine from the air pistol. Place a drop of RM coil lube on the magazine O-ring. From the left-hand side, push in the rear receiver pin. Pull out the rear receiver pin from the right-hand side. Do not completely remove it. Lift the back of the upper receiver until perpendicular to the lower receiver. With the A4-P upside down, pull out the charging handle. Pulling back the charging handle exposes the O-ring. Apply one drop of RM coil lube to the spot specified. Push the charging handle back into place. Attach the upper and lower receivers and push the rear receiver pin back into place. You must pull back on a charging handle after new CO2 cartridges are installed. The ejection port with blowback action is really cool. I love the full auto mode. I wish Crossman offered a high capacity magazine, 
offering more than just 25 shots. For a smoothbore air pistol, the A4-P is fairly accurate in semi-auto mode. I was able to get all six shots within an inch diameter of the target. Accuracy in full auto mode is not as good. I love the compactness of the A4-P. It's like having a Crossman SBR full auto air rifle in a small air pistol form factor. The included red dot sight is a nice touch. The red laser dot aids in aiming in low light situations. The realistic blowback action that you could see through the ejection port makes you feel like you're firing a real firearm pistol. You can purchase the Crossman A4-P using my Amazon referral link in the description. Please like this post and subscribe to Rust Belt Airgun so that you're alerted to my future posts. Thank you.